professional pickleball association is pickleball at the highest level and this week the tour has descended upon the peach state in atlanta georgia in a tournament that has already seen major upsets and electrified fans but they ain't seen nothing yet because this is championship sunday on championship court A spectacular Sunday in the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia, and we are excited for a championship Sunday as five gold medal matches will be played in all here at Lifetime Fitness in Peachtree Corners. And hello, everybody. Welcome to our coverage of Championship Sunday of the Atlanta Open presented by Acrotech here on Championship Court. Dave Benz hanging out with Scott Golden. Hannah Johns will be along in just a little bit. And Scott, this tournament has been a little bit different here for the PPA this week because there is no double dipping. You lose, you can't win a gold medal. Middle, and that has led to some big upsets this week. Absolutely, and one of the other things that they did with the format is they gave these players an opportunity to get some rest and recuperation up to the semifinals. They played Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and they're gonna let these championship games be played out here today in front of us. And I think that's gonna be significant with the level of play, and we're gonna see some really good pickleball. Everybody will be well rested, but it's also a mental challenge because you've had a lot of time to think about playing for a gold medal as well. And this is the fifth stop of the 2021 one season for the PPA after this. The schedule will shift west a little bit and maybe the humidity that might be a factor here today not going to be a factor for the next several tournaments. That's right and also I want to mention that the best three out of five is a new thing that they're doing as well. The, the past uh, tournaments it's been best two out of three and they're implementing the best three out of five uh, in an attempt to make this pro level even more professional. And I'm very excited to see how this goes. Well, the, the other thing that has been unique as the season has grown and as pickleball has grown has been the international influence on the sport. We will see a lot of international players playing for gold here today. For more on how this sport has grown internationally, let's check in with Hannah Johns. Thanks, Dave. And I'm here with someone who knows the sport so well, Harry Chikma. Well, Hannah, PPA does things first class, and this event is one of the prime time events on the calendar. Over 1,200 athletes, 200 professionals competing, and they're playing for $100,000. If that didn't sound like a lot of money, it's actually the ranking points they are focused on. The further you go in the tournament, the better ranking points, and that means more appearance fee moving forward. The conditions are perfect here at Lifetime Fitness. It's going to be intense in Hotlanta, and I can't wait for the competition. Absolutely, and we also have to talk about the international flair that pickleball has. We have athletes from France, Russia, Germany, Canada, Brazil, Slovakia, all over the globe. These players have come to participate in this amazing event. Great stuff, Hannah, and we are going to take our first time out. Don't go anywhere. The opening serve coming your way after this time out here on Championship Court. The pickleball community is growing rapidly and evolving. Duper brings accuracy, transparency, and adaptability to the sport. Fair and competitive play is a better experience for everyone. This is our pickleball community. And now Duper will make every match count.
The Dink is your new source for all things pickleball. Shop the largest selection of pickleball gear from top brands like Selkirk, Paddletech, Onyx, Vulcan, and more, as well as the new Feel of Pickleball collection of footwear and apparel. You'll also find stories, player profiles, and videos from around the world of pickleball. Visit us at thedinkpickleball.com, the exclusive home of PPA merchandise. Stories, gear, intel, the new player in pickleball. The Atlanta Open presented by Acrotech is brought to you by PPA. Play where the pros play. By Jigsaw Health. It's fun to feel good. By Championship Court, your professional pickleball network. By Foot Solutions, your feet are the foundation of your health. Let us take care of them for you. By Fila Pickleball. By The Dink, the new player in pickleball. And by Head Pickleball. Performance is a head game. Do you know, do you know that rest name right there? Is it Michael? And we are just about set for our first match of the day here in Atlanta. And what a match it should be. Women's singles gold, Catherine Parento, the Canadian, uh, now calls Florida home, taking on Leia Jansen, who has been playing fantastic. Leia played for the gold medal just a couple of weeks ago at the US Open in Naples, Florida. And she has been on quite a hot streak. And uh, really, Scott, this should be an exciting match between these two young ladies. And Miss Jansen will have the serve, and we are underway. So Jansen in the far court, Parento in the near court. An early 1-0 lead here for Jansen. Nice dig on the baseline by Jansen. That was out of bounds, so a 2 nothing lead. They play 2-11, must win by two. Best two games out of three to win gold here. Point. And that was just long on the shot by Parento. Yeah, Dave, so far, Leia Jansen coming out hot. She's up 3-0. Pretty good crowd on hand here for this. Side out. Match to start off championship Sunday on center court. And the side out will give it over to Catherine Parento, her first chance to try and put some points up in this first Zero, game. Three. Both Parento and Jansen with a tennis background before Point. moving to pickleball. Scott, both of these One, both of these players had interesting quarterfinals matchups, or excuse me, semifinals matchups coming into this championship Sunday. Absolutely, and that shot wide. Yeah, Catherine Parento faced off against her, her old boss and coach at Michigan State, Simone Jarjim, and Two, uh, in the second um, game, Simone had to retire, and that put Catherine here in the gold. And Leah Jansen played 14-year-old Annalie Waters in the semifinals. And we had extra pickleball there at 15, 13, 12, 10. So she had a battle there to get to this goal. The other interesting thing, we talked about this at the top, was that those semifinal matches were on Thursday. So not only have they had a lot of time to think about the fact that they're, they're playing on Sunday for gold, but it, Four, you have to two. change gears too after playing in doubles all day on Saturday and now you're back to playing singles, which you haven't played in a couple of days. That's correct. And these pros are used to doing that, Dave. They're not uh, strangers to playing multiple events, uh, especially with the bigger tournaments, uh, especially on something like this with Championship Sunday. Two, Simone Jarjim and uh, Ben Johns are, I think, in two other uh, divisions as well. So they have to flip that switch on Boys. and off. Point there by Parento, as that did just catch the line. So it's going to tighten this Three, first four. game up. 3-4 now. 
And one thing you'll see in singles is that the points aren't quite as long as they are in doubles. There's a lot more passing shots. Uh, looks a little more similar to, to mini tennis, if you will. And they're going to look to end the points quickly. Um, and momentum's a big thing in singles. You can run away with a match very quickly in singles. Yeah, Parento now has reeled off three consecutive points. points. Make it four three consecutive points. The score is six, and a four. timeout being taken here by Jansen as she'll try and quell the momentum from Parento. So our first, first hydration break brought to you by Jigsaw Health. Hey, uh, Katie, could you pass me the creamer? Why don't you just come into the kitchen and get the creamer? I can't. I can't come in the kitchen. Sure you can. No, I, I really can't. You can come into the kitchen as long as you don't hit the ball out of the air. All right. That's why I stay out of kitchens. Leia Jansen got off to a, an early lead in this opening game of the Women's Pro Singles Gold Medal match, but it has been Catherine Parento on the roll. Four consecutive points by Parento to take this 6-4 lead, and she looks to add to it here, and she does, as Jansen unable to return that, so 7-4 now. 7-4. Uh, the net shot, little wave by Jansen, but she will get the side out as a result of that friendly bounce. Sometimes you need a little Four, luck on your seven. side there to get that ball back and stifle the momentum of your opponent. Uh, what a great winning shot there by Parento. Yeah, and one of the things she did really well in that point is she hit the, the serve, and on her third she was able to get up there and capture the net. She kept Leia back. Nice cross-court winner there by Jansen. So these ladies going back and forth. Four, seven. Side out. Uh, that serve long by Jansen. Yeah, Dave, this first seven, game, these four. ladies are going to be getting those nerves under control. They're going to start uh, trying to feel each other out in this first game. And, of course, being a best three out of five series, this first game is not quite as significant or heavy. Uh, they can both spend a little time Eight, feeling the, the game out. Jansen doing nice work right up at that kitchen line. And then the soft shot, Parento caught up to it, but couldn't get it back over the net. That's yeah, great hustle by Catherine Parento right there. Leia Jansen recognizing that she was keeping Catherine back, but Catherine was continuing to get the ball over the net. She drops it in soft for a point. Leia Jansen, who played tennis collegiately in Washington State, also has spent some time as a tennis instructor before. Adopting pickleball on a more full-time basis. That was a nice little shot out of Jansen, but Parento able to cover some ground and ends up winning that exchange. Yeah, Parento fired that ball right into the body of Leia Jansen there. Ball was below the net. Somehow she was able to roll it. Jansen now using another timeout as Parento is two points away from taking this first game. We'll take a hydration break as well, brought to you by Jigsaw Health. Lucia Kovalova. Pickleball cocktail. Patrick, did you get all the shots you need? Because I would really like to go play pickleball. Lucy, I'm making art here. Did Michelangelo take a break from the Sistine Chapel to go play soccer? Places, everyone. If she's got to go, I can take her spot.
Well, we'll see if that timeout from Leia Jansen pays dividends. Catherine Parento looking to finish off this opening game in this best three out of five. Point. Wow, nice cross court winner there. And now a point away from the game. Yeah, Leia Jansen got hesitant right there and the ball went right by her. A couple of nice backhands there by Jansen, and she will get the serve back, but a big hill to climb here if she wants to come back in this first game. In Jansen's corner is Tyson McGuffin, a world-class singles player Four, in pickleball, ten. so maybe he's given her some insight. Point. That was impressive. Yeah, both these ladies have really strong forehand drives. They're gonna look to pass each other down the lines. And that was an exceptional drive by Jansen there. Five, we will ten. be seeing Tyson McGuffin, who you just mentioned. He'll be playing for the men's gold against Ben Johns later on here on championship court. And Jansen now a couple of consecutive points. She waited a little long at now 6'10 Six, ten to make her ten. move, but it's never too late in pickleball. The momentum can swing in the blink of an eye. And make it three straight points, so 7-10. That point was set up from Leia Jansen's serve. She kept Catherine really far back, and then Leia was able to come up and capture Seven, that non-volley zone. Oh, what Point. a great shot on the baseline by Jansen. The receiver calls a timeout. My goodness, I thought that ball was going to jam her up at her feet, and somehow she got that ball past the paddle of Catherine Parento. And it's now 8-10 here in game one. This time it's Parento taking the time out. The hydration break brought to you by Jigsaw Health. Hey, Joey. I got your new paddle. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Sure is. Can you sign it for me? Uh, sure thing. Here you go. Thanks. Here you go, Patrick. You actually got it. Um, are you forgetting something? You didn't get that from me. Wow. 15 seconds! All right, well, Leia Jansen's last time out worked to change the momentum a little bit. We'll see if Catherine Parento has similar success. Scott, we do see a lot of times, and right there we see it again. You take the time out, and so many times it pays dividends. I mean, the, what in your mind, what's the percentages on the success rate of that? It's got to be 70% or greater because when you are the one calling the time out, you hit that reset button and you come out with some energy and excitement. And that timeout was crucial. And it carries Catherine Parento to game one. Take a look at game point here. She just catches that sideline to keep it in. And she takes game one, 11-8 in this best three out of five. Game two coming your way after this quick timeout here on Championship Court. Not only is the speed and the power there, yeah. the consistency there, so then you can make every shot you can at every level. Overall, I mean, I feel like I have plenty of feel, plenty of consistency as I'm hitting drops from the baseline. That's probably the biggest thing for us, is we need that consistency, like a big right. sweet spot. Right, right. And this Vanguard, holy cow. The speed that I get with this paddle when I'm on the run is out of this world. Game changer.
What a gorgeous Sunday here in the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. The Atlanta Open presented by Acrotech. And Catherine Parento wins that first game. And Scott, how does it change your mentality? So few times do we see this format where you have to win three out of five. And Side how out. about that cross court winner by Catherine Parento? And it actually, I thought that caught the zero, line. They zero. say it did not. So yeah, it's just a side out. But how, how does it change the, the mentality for both sides? You win game one, you say it's okay, well, you, that's nice, but you're, you're far from winning the, the match. You you lose game one, you got plenty of time to come back. Definitely. For me as a player, when I lose that first game, it really wakes me up and gets me going and gets me motivated. Zero, uh, zero. A little bit of a chip on my shoulder. So let's see if Leia Jansen adopts that mindset. She's got plenty of time, uh, but it looks like Catherine Parento right now is coming out of the gate on fire. Yeah, Catherine could take a, a obviously a tremendous advantage if she can win this One, second zero. game and put Jansen in a spot where she has to roll off three straight. Parento up at that kitchen line. Unable to catch up with that one, though. Beautifully placed shot by Jansen. That's what Jansen does so well. She's able to manipulate her opponent by moving that ball left to right, and she has Zero, enough power one. on that engaged paddle to really put balls away. Oh, Jansen's Points. able to just easily hit the forehand to the other side of the court. Had Parento run it to her left. Plenty of space for that winner. And Dave, a trend I'm starting to see with Jansen is she's really getting behind that serve, creating a lot of power and spin, one, keeping one. Catherine back, and then she's able to capture that non-volley zone and dictate from there. Side out. Well placed shot by Parento. Sometimes you wonder if it's worth exerting that energy there for that ball. It was so well hit by Parento, knowing you're going to be playing potentially five games here. One, well, and one. the odds of you getting it, first of all, are remote. And if you do get it, the odds of you being back in a position to be able to hit the return are even less. And Absolute. that one is wide. But yeah. when you're in the height of the point, I mean, you're not thinking that way. For sure, and there's been times where if you get the ball back over, sometimes the opponent makes a mistake. So you always want to try for it, one, but I'm one. just wondering in this format, is it the best decision? Side out. They side out there. They, I guess the good news for these ladies is they are the first match of the day. They are completely fresh. One, and it one. is not peak temperature yet here in Atlanta. It's supposed to touch 90 before we're sitting done here this afternoon. Point. Yeah, and I had a minute with each of these ladies before this match kicked off, and I just kind of asked them about their pregame regimen, and both Two, of them do one. eat breakfast before. Uh, Parento said she eats some oatmeal with some brown sugar, so it's interesting. Point. Jansen hits it long, so another point for Parento. A 3-1 three, advantage. Point. Make it a 4-1 advantage. Both these ladies on the court right now have very powerful serves, and we're seeing that play a role in these games. When you can get a deep serve like that, Dave, and keep Four, your opponent one. on their heels, you're going to have a lot of opportunity going forward. Uh, nice cross-court winner there. And the serve will go back over to Jansen. That was great anticipation right there by one, Jansen. Four. Catherine Parento came into this Atlanta tournament ranked fourth in the Point. official PPA Tour singles rankings. And you wonder with this appearance here in the gold medal match, regardless of how it finishes, if Leia Jansen Two, might be able to four. crack that top five. Jarjim, Tereschenko, Esquivel, Parento, and Kelly Smith, the top five coming into Sign Atlanta. Up. But I think it's worthy to note that Catherine Parento did not have a spectacular run at the U.S. Open last Four, month. Two. She was beat by the 14-year-old Emily Waters um, in Side dominant out. fashion, honestly. And I'm, I'm grateful to see her back in this gold medal match as she's a true competitor, has rebounded two, very nicely, and has found herself here competing against Leia Jansen today. Point. 
And that wide, so this score tightens up a little bit. 3-4 now in game two. Well, and this is what you see, Dave. These momentum swings in pickleball are Three, as four. significant as any other pro sport out there, even more at some times. And Catherine, or excuse me, Leia decides to let that one go. Cannot clearly overrule that call. So Point. what happened right there was the ball was called out by Leia Jansen. Catherine uh, appealed to four, Matthew Cross, four. the ref. He said he could not see it well enough to overturn it. Side out. So Jansen now will give this serve back to Parento. Knotted up at four. Four, four. Point. Jansen talking to herself right there. She's telling herself she didn't have to be that good with it. She didn't need to go that Five, extreme. Four. Hitting that ball about three or four inches wide. Sometimes the simple shot is the best shot. Side out. One of the significant differences that I see in the women's pro singles versus the men's pro singles, it, it feels like in, especially with Ben Johns and the men's five. pro singles, it's more cat and mouse up at the kitchen. These ladies sit back and play more of a traditional Point. style where they're driving the ball back and forth at each other. Um, they're not utilizing that non-volley zone quite as much. Um, ben Johns is one of the best five, in the world five. at utilizing that that area. We will see him in the next match here on Championship Court. Great job tracking that Side down out. by Jansen, but Parento takes advantage of her going the other way. Yeah, Jansen right there stretching out, doing all she could to get that ball back over, and ultimately Catherine got the best of it. Point. That was a nicely placed shot there by Parento to retake the lead. So one of the things you might wonder, well, how did she not know that ball was going to be going there? Five. It's anticipation. You've got to guess right. These ladies are, are really cranking on that ball. Oh, Side Jansen out. this time working to set up that shot. Well, the... The shot before, Catherine Parento rolled the two in a backhand cross court. She tried to catch her down the line, but Five, Leia Jansen six. didn't bite. Side out. And that served long, so it'll go right back over to Catherine Parento. Parento, who now resides, as I mentioned, in Florida, in Naples, Florida. Six, five. Ooh, that ball side looked out. like it might have been out, and instead, it's going to be a side out as Parento hits it into the net. That could be big because that would have been a free point right there if that ball goes long, Five, but it's six. a split-second decision, Dave. Side out. That one was long. So Parento looking to try and build six, a lead here five. in game two. This is a pivotal game. You can take a commanding 2-0 lead instead. Jansen now will get the serve back. Dave, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a timeout coming soon. Both these ladies with some unforced airs back and forth. It can be a little frustrating in a singles match to get the ball and give it right back. Five, We're going to see if the timeout's called soon. And you hear the crowd reacting as uh, there are some Points. other matches being played on the, the courts nearby here. And just off. Receiver calls a timeout. The just score off in the six, distance six. here in Atlanta. And we got to, indeed, as you predicted, Scott, we got a timeout being taken with this game two being tied at six apiece. This hydration break brought to you by Jigsaw Health. No way she gets this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My turn. Oh. Call in one, one. So 
So the women's singles gold continues. Catherine Brento and Leia Jansen knotted up at six apiece here in game number two. Yeah, That's three out of five. I think that was a well needed timeout for both of them. Sometimes as a stubborn player, you might not want to be the first to call that timeout, but you're thankful when your opponent calls in, you can utilize it. Points. Jansen able to keep that return in. So she will go in front. Seven, six. Points. Make it eight, six in favor of Jansen. I feel like this matchup has the potential to go five games, Dave, as both these ladies eight, not six. willing to give up an inch. Well, you would want nothing but that as you Point. try and go for a goal. Jansen now with a little bit of cushion here in game two. Make it a 9-6 game. Traditionally, where Leah Jansen struggled a little bit is closing games nine, out. Six. She's up 9-6. We're going to see if she can keep this composure and get game two. Points. Make it 10-6. So this will be game point, but not before Parento is going to use the Receiver timeout. Receiver calls the timeout. The score is 10-6. So ten, let's take another six. hydration break. Brought to you by Jigsaw Health. Pickleball is crazy. It's an all-day event. You're getting dehydrated, you get tired, and I've kind of had issues with cramping all my life. I would be taking pickle juice, salt tablets, eating mustard packets. So I just try to manage it, but it's been really difficult until I tried Jigsaw's Electrolyte Supreme. I would actually recommend taking Electrolyte Supreme to everybody. I haven't cramped. I'm able to go out there with confidence. So it's been a godsend for sure. Oh, you gotta love the fans coming out here on a Sunday in Atlanta. And this crowd no doubt will only grow as the day continues with five gold medal matches here on Championship Court. If yeah. you're with us on the, on the live stream, it's gonna be a full day of coverage following this women's pro singles gold medal match. We have the men's match with Ben Johnson against Tyson McGuffin, then the women's pro doubles gold, men's pro doubles gold, and we'll finish it up with the mixed pro doubles gold. Boy, and there it is. Yay. So Ms. this Jansen match officially tied game, in a game of peace as Jansen rallies back to win this game 11-6. So we will have a minimum of four games to decide gold here in Atlanta between these women. Another look at game point. A friendly bounce off the net for Jansen. We'll take a break back with game three after this. When I step onto the court, I get a burst of adrenaline. That adrenaline makes me focus, and that focus helps me win. I love looking out and seeing my teammates standing there, supporting me, cheering me on. People always ask me, what do you want out of a pickleball brand? For me, it's simple. Performance products and support. Performance is a head game. Hey, it's Alex Hamner with Vulcan Pickleball Paddles. I wanted to tell you about this V510 and how I just love some of the things it does for my game. It's a hybrid, so it's really good to help get power, like, you know, from the baseline or on your serve. You want to get it nice and deep. It's good for that. But as I make my way to the net, and you sometimes you got to do that defense, the little blocks, because you're just trying to drop it in the kitchen so you can get your way up to the non-volley zone. And then while you're here, I can hit nice little dinks and drops. I've noticed my control with this paddle is just so much better. You know, I can get a little closer to the line, I can place it where I want a little better. 
And yet, the bonus, when you get that high ball, I still have plenty of power to put it away, and that's always fun. Managing text chains is a hassle. Juggling social media threads is a part-time job. There should be a simpler way to play. At Pickle Play, we do it all. Find an ad course, find and message players, schedule events, create clubs and groups, and so much more. Download the only pickleball companion you need today. Pickle Play, games for you. Well, how about that effort in Leia Jansen's favor in game number two as she comes back to even this best three out of five with Catherine Parento at a game apiece. So now we basically are in a best out of three. Side out. Catherine Parento forces the side out to start this third game. We're seeing a little fire out of Parento right out of the gate. She's a very zero, focused zero. individual. Oh, that was an impressive effort by Jansen, but unable to catch the line. One, so Parento zero. with the one nothing lead. Points. Make it a two nothing lead. Two zero. How about that by Jansen? Scott, you mentioned you've been here calling matches all week. And uh, what's been your take on uh, the way the players Zero, have enjoyed two. their time here in Atlanta? Well, first of all, the weather has been spectacular here in Atlanta. In years past, we've had Side some out. weather conditions that have made it for not such fun pickleball, wind, rain, uh, having to move inside, back outside, those kind of things, which plays a little bit of a mental role uh, on the ta this taxing for these players. But they've enjoyed this weather. The battles have been epic. And uh, I think all these players are really enjoying the new format that they're implementing. and. Uh, the PPA has just done a phenomenal Three, job here. Is the format here to stay? I think so. I think it's going to stay as this sport continues to evolve and the professional level uh, comes into its own. It, it, we talked about this off camera. You know, this sport four, has always zero. been thought of as a hobby, and now it's become a profession. Parento quick out of the gates here in game number three. A 4 nothing lead forces Jansen to use her first hydration break of game three. Brought to you by Jigsaw Health. you each a bottle. Up for some pickleball? Let's go. Fifteen seconds. And we are back. Catherine Parento. So you, you said, Scott, earlier, you think it's about a 70% success rate of you, good things happening Excuse after you use the timeout. I will recall yes, the I've, I've not tracked that statistically Four, for a fact, zero. but I, I have seen over and over that the person calling the timeout usually wins the next point. And it holds true again. So the sign out, good use of the timeout by Leia Jansen. Zero, four. Side out. But right back over to Catherine Parento with the serve after that goes wide. Four, zero. Parento with a little bounce in her step right now in game three. You can see she's coming out with a lot of energy and focus. The she's lob. playing very well. Oh, that does stay in. Oh, oh but how about that? Returned by Jansen. That's excellent. Just beautiful artwork there from Leah Jansen as she covered that lob and ripped it down the sideline for the winner. Great camera work by our championship core crew as well. Shout out to all the, out. all the people working behind the scenes, the camera operators, our fantastic crew in the truck. Four, zero. Why, why 
points. Uh, Leia would like that one back. She's talking to herself after that shot. She said, why so fancy? And she, she's been doing that a couple times here where she's not needed to be so perfect. Five, and she's being hard on herself there, but she just needs to regroup. That was that was pretty much textbook execution right there. Nothing fancy about that. Just get Catherine Brent to go the wrong way and then take advantage of the open court. Yeah, and Dave, one thing if you've watched pickleball in the past, the points go extremely fast. You don't have a lot of time to recover and think about what happened just prior. So these pros do a phenomenal job of just shedding what happened last point and going right back to the to the basics. Points. So the point there after catching the net, and then Parento sails it out of bounds. So the first point of game three here for Jansen. One, five. She needed that for sure. Oh, great backhand winner there by Parento. And Dave, as this game continues to unfold in front of us, we're in game three, you'll start to see these ladies make adjustments Five, to each other. They start to see tendencies and things that they do over and over, and so you'll start seeing some adjustments being made, as we saw there. Yeah, but Parento now gets it back to a five-point advantage. It's a, a pivotal third game. Six, one. Point. And if, that was long on the return. If Leia Jansen doesn't do something right now to turn this momentum, this game is going to get out Seven, of hand very one. quickly. We will replay. I'll recall the score. They'll replay after Seven, the one. net on the serve. Side out. And that shot just wide. So Jansen, this is, she's gonna have to make a move right here if she wants to try and win One, this third seven. game. We saw Jay Devillier come back from a 10-2 deficit the other day in singles. It can be done, but in order to do so, you have to buckle down and be smart Two, with seven. your shot selections. She's only going to get one point on that service opportunity, and now Parento. Chance to get closer here to a 2-1 advantage. Two. With the point. caliber of player that Leia Jansen's up against, the when it's 8-2, it's going to be like climbing up a mountain, uh, perhaps Mount Everest. Well, right now she's in an 8-2 hole. She uses the timeout. We'll take this hydration break again, brought to you by Jigsaw Health. I got it, I got it. Thanks, Ben. I got it, I got it. Thanks, Ben. I got it, I got it. Hello, this is Jigsaw Health. Thanks, Ben. I want to call. Uh-huh. Yours. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> well, we'll see whether or not the, the form holds. It's, we're 100% we're today, Scott, in this match on timeouts with the, the, the person calling the timeout winning the next, the next point exchange. So, see whether or not this works again. Lay a chance in, in a hole. And there we go. Side out. So still batting a thousand here. And it's true, when they come out of those timeouts, they tend to reset and Two, get the eight. upper hand, as we just saw there. Side out. But it doesn't last for long. Parento will get it back now, just three points away. Jansen's body language right now is indicative of somebody being down 8-2. She's got to find a way to turn this around. Eight, two. Get her positive thinking going the right direction. She's up against a strong opponent, though. Wow. That was a nice shot by Leia and a couple of shots to catch up to it, but the, the last one just too long. Yeah, she was extended all the way Nine, out. She did all two. she could to get the paddle on that one. Game 
point. Parento 10 2. When Parento's playing this way with this type of focus and energy, and her shots are just landing exactly where she wants them to go, she's going to be winning 10 2 at this point. A little drop shot there, oh, and how about Parento catching up to it? Miss Parento wins the Beautifully game. executed by Catherine Parento. After Jansen tried to catch her off guard, Catherine was having nothing of it. Let's take a look at that replay, Davis. She hit that nice backhand slice on the run. Cross court pass, Leia Jansen. Dipped it in about two inches inside the net to end game three. So a decisive 11-2 victory in game three. She leads this gold medal match two games to one here in Atlanta. The pickleball community is growing rapidly and evolving. Duper brings accuracy, transparency, and adaptability to the sport. Fair and competitive play is a better experience for everyone. This is our pickleball community. And now Duper will make every match count. One thing I really noticed before I came on to Gearbox, other paddles change over time. They start to slowly deteriorate and at about that three or four month mark, just kind of felt dead. And then I would switch to a new paddle and it was kind of too fast because then it had to degrade to get into that sweet spot again. I've been using the GX5 for just about a year now. Same paddle that I picked up the first time I hit it. Haven't switched paddles, and it feels exactly the same a year later, and that's, that's huge. Back here in Atlanta, Catherine Parento with the decisive two games to one advantage in this best three games out of five. They've been Scott Golden, Hannah Johns along with you on our championship court coverage here on Championship Sunday and side out. So Jansen will get the serve back. Dave, we're getting in to the deep water of this three out of five zero, now as we're zero. into game four. Neither of these ladies are accustomed to going this long in singles. We're gonna see how this plays out. Side out. I don't believe fitness is gonna be a huge issue. Both these ladies are in exceptional uh, zero, fitness. Zero. Their stamina and endurance is second to none. And so I think it's gonna come down to shot selection and unforced Point. errors as we just saw from Leah Jansen there. So Parento with the one nothing one, lead. Zero. Side out. Parento trying to play that sideline a couple of straight shots, and the last one goes wide. And then she pointed down the, the inside in shot, which is the zero, forehand roll. One. She she wanted to maybe go that way, but chose the opposite. Oh, what a great backhand there Side by out. Parento with the precision. Well, one of the things Catherine Parento is doing is she's finding little windows to get up to that non-volley zone, and then she's one, able zero. to anticipate the drive from Leah Jansen. Side out. Come on, come on, come on. That shot wide. You can hear Parento expressing her displeasure with herself. 
Scott, so many of these pickleball players do have Zero, a one. tennis background, as we mentioned is, is true with Jansen and Parento. Do you, do you feel like the tennis background benefits of them a little bit more in singles than maybe it does in doubles? A hundred percent. Oftentimes, Side tennis out. players that from a high level, either from college or even pro level tennis, come over and are instantly good at pickleball and singles. It takes them a little bit longer to adjust to the doubles uh, strategies. They still have all the shots, but it takes them a little longer. One, zero. And the footwork no doubt translates whether you're playing doubles or singles. They kind of look at it as almost a joke because this court is a quarter of the size of a real tennis court. Uh, if anybody follows tennis, you know they, they stay back at the baseline and they, they have a lot more driving and passing shots. Um, but in this, you have a combination of the two. Sometimes you stay back and, Zero, and drive one. for the baseline. Other times you're going to come up and attack. Makes it for really interesting pickleball. The point. Well, Parento tried to get that one out of the air and instead hits it into the net. So Jansen gets her first point here of game four. One, one. And she needs to keep this game close. In game three, she let that, that game three Points. get out of hand, Dave, and that, that's not what she wants here. She's want, gonna wanna keep the lead. I know it's gonna be a tight one, it's gonna be close. Um, Two, but she's one. got to find ways to get points on the board. Points. Well, she's got three straight now. When we've seen Receiver these runs the from them, it's been three Scored or four spurts three, in a row, one. and then they'll call a timeout. And that's exactly what has happened here. Parento uses the timeout. So another hydration break brought to you by our friends at Jigsaw Health. Catherine Parento, she is in a little bit of a hole here in game number four as she tries to close out a gold medal here in Atlanta. The Atlanta Open brought to you by Acrotech. I would not be surprised at all, Dave, if this goes to five games. If Jansen can continue this type of play at this caliber in game four, we very well could see our first fifth game of this best three out of five series. When you think the momentum swing, if Jansen is able to win game four, she would have all the momentum going into game five, and she now has a 4-1 lead. So Parento wants no part of a, of a fifth game. Four, one. That was, I think, the first time where the receiver that called the timeout did not and win the I point. was just going to so mention that exactly, that you're exactly true on that. And I so I'd say the percentage is about right, because that's about one, the fifth four. timeout we've had in this match. And we were four for four point. to start, unofficially. Absolutely. So here's a pivotal point in this game Two, four, four, as Leah Jansen just sided out and missed a return. So Catherine Parento is going to try to capitalize on this opportunity here to get back in it. Side but instead, Jansen, with other ideas, she gets the serve back after the side out. Great anticipation there from Jansen to get that ball back. Four, two. Side out. Jansen hits wide, though. So now Parento, another opportunity. I think she's two, missing some four. of those because of the player that she's playing against. Catherine Parento makes you work hard for every point. She's trying to do a little too much with some of these shots. For example, trying to get a nice, strong, deep return. Sometimes you're gonna miss those trying to do too much Three, with it. Four. Point. So tied up now at four apiece and suddenly Parento feeling like she's taking control here. Already up two games to one. We saw the same thing in game one as Leia jumped out to 3-0 lead and then Catherine Brinto just came roaring back. This the is the same scenario. The score is five, four. And that's gonna force Leia Jansen to use a timeout. 
5-4 Parento, just six points away from taking gold here in Atlanta. Another hydration break brought to you by Jigsaw Health. It's Pickleball Cocktail. It's Pickleball Cocktail. It's Pickleball Cocktail. I, I don't cream. When I step on the court, this is what I do. Okay. Everybody cramping because they ain't got that new. I got this cocktail in my glass and I ain't afraid to drink it. Drink it, drink it, drink it. I pickle and I love it. It's Pickleball Cocktail. It's Pickleball Cocktail. It's Pickleball Cocktail. I, I don't cream. Leia Jansen had the lead 4-1. Now Catherine Parenta with a 5-4 advantage. I don't think anyone's surprised that Catherine Parenta has made a big, big push and now taking the lead here in game four, Dave. She's an exceptional singles player as well as a mixed doubles and women's doubles pro. Leia Jansen, newer on the scene, but has made a huge impression on the pro level as she's hearing the gold medal match. Side out. Oh, beautifully executed there by Jansen. And another timeout by the receiver. Comes out, hits Four, that reset five. button, and wins the next point. Point. And that was just wide, so Jansen able to tie it up. Parento now will get a chance to surge ahead. Not sure exactly what happened there to Jansen. She may have One scraped minute. her knee just a bit. She's got oh, a little yeah, blood Oh yeah, there's blood flowing. on the knee right now. I think when she went, she stretched out, Dave, to get that ball. She scraped that right knee, and this is brand new uh, surface by Acrotech Sports Surfaces. It's very gritty, and, and when you scrape your skin up against that, it's gonna draw blood. So we have a one minute injury timeout. We'll take a break as well here in Atlanta. Gear from top brands like Selkirk, Paddletech, Onyx, Vulcan, and more, as well as the new Feel a Pickleball collection of footwear and apparel. You'll also find stories, player profiles, and videos from around the world of pickleball. Visit us at thedinkpickleball.com, the exclusive home of PPA merchandise. Stories, gear, intel, the new player in pickleball. Go again, until you strike just right. Until the ball sings. Until the other guy blinks. Until the court's clear and the sun sets. Until you see it in your sleep and wake up swinging. Go again. Until you can't miss, until you can't lose, go again, and again. Meet the ultimate pickleball paddle, designed in Silicon Valley, using state-of-the-art technology based on data collected from the paddles of thousands of players. We use a Japanese carbon fiber called Torre for the surface, the best on the market due to its tensile strength and power. The innate fine grain texture grips the ball, resulting in highly precise controlled shots and incredible spin. The core of the paddle uses a proprietary honeycomb technology resulting in pitch-perfect weight distribution, gets you the perfect edge-to-edge -edge sweet spot. Unlike the flat dead-end hits from paddles of the past, get the Electrum Pro and join the sports revolution with an edge above the rest. Dave Pence, Scott Golden, Hannah Johns with you. The Atlanta Open presented by Acrotech and the injury timeout. 
Results in a wrap being put on the right knee of Leia Jansen. Catherine Parento trying to take in a, a lead here. Already up two games to one in this gold medal match. Side and up. that shot wide, so Jansen will get back the service. This one tight in game four, just as we five, suspected. Five. Side out. When you rip the ball hard from the baseline like Leia Jansen just did, if you don't get that ball past the paddle of the opponent, they're going to likely put that ball away as it was left up too five, high. Five. Five. And now Parento taking a 6-5 lead. The harsh angles from Parento right now are really causing a lot of trouble for Jansen Six, as she's five. going sideline to sideline just to try to recover and get to that ball. Side out. Parento unable to catch up to that one, so Jansen's still breathing here. But really needs to make a move. Trailing five, six, and two games to one. Five, six. She's got to have a sense of urgency for sure. The lob. That one didn't miss by much, Dave. I, I like the idea there from Catherine Printo as she has not lobbed very much. She actually threw that up off the backhand, which is very surprising. Yeah, and it did not miss six, by much, as six. you said. Instead, we're tied up here, six apiece. Side out. That, that can't happen right there. When you get that, that gift from the opponent, you've got to capitalize. She's kicking herself right there as she's giving the ball back now to Parenta at 6-6. Six, six. And she knows how pivotal that could be. Points. And there's an example. When you don't take advantage of the opportunities, Dave, that opponent is absolutely going to take advantage of it. Yeah, this it's a big swing. Instead, she could have been up 7-6, looking to go up 8-6. Now she's trailing 6-7. Six, 7-6 seven. Seven, six in favor of Parento. We may look back on that point as a pivotal moment Side in the gold medal match as the difference maker. We'll see. Although Parento gives the serve back. 6-7. Six, 6-7. Seven. That's a great, great execution there on that point from Leia Jansen as she goes backhand down the line, backhand down the line, and then move that forehand straight down the other line. Seven, seven. Beautiful. And again, the game is to 11, win by two. Oh, what a great shot there by Jansen. That shot for the winner was set up by Leia Jansen's first drive. Parento left it up a little high and she came Eight, out of the air seven. and attacked it. Point oh, Parento Let's trying to go for the winner, hits it into the net. Nine, seven. So 9 7 Jansen. And she is just now two points away from forcing a decisive game five. A hydration break being taken here by Parento, presented by Jigsaw Health. playing eight days a week, playing tournaments all over the place. On June 8th of this year, I had a heart attack. I knew that I wanted to get well as fast as I could. I was talking to a friend of mine. He sent me a sample pack of the stack. Now, even a post heart attack, I love being able to compete with the kids. The Jigsaw products, I think, are what are allowing me to do that. Anybody that wants to have hydration and endurance, they should be taking these products. Catherine Parento hoping to rally here. Down now 7-9 to Leia Jansen. And this women's pro singles gold medal match starting off our full day of coverage here on Championship Court. Happy to have you along. Thanks for making us a part of your afternoon, your morning, your afternoon, wherever you are watching nationally, internationally. We love all of our pickleball fans. And 
and we talked at the top about the international impact and the favorable net cord bounce there for Parento will get her back to serve. Parento, as we mentioned, she lives in Naples, but originally from Montreal, so she's officially listed as a Canadian in this tournament. And Leia Jansen from the Northwest, Eight, Pacific Northwest here in the United States. So American against the Canadian. We will see plenty of international players here throughout our day of coverage. And Scott, this sport just continues to grow throughout the world, not just domestically. And I think we're going to see more and more tennis players coming over, getting involved in the pro singles as the money is continuing to grow. We're going to see more and more new faces coming on the scene in the next year to two years. Shot by Eight, Jansen nine. is long, so the side out gets Parento back the serve. Trailing 8-9. She gives it right back. Both players right now trading missed shots, unforced errors, giving the ball back and opportunities nine, for each eight. one of them to close it. Look for Leia Jansen to get super aggressive here on these next couple points. Oh, what a great Side shot out. there by Catherine on the backhand. Puts it right into the corner and gets back to serve. When you leave that ball up high and you're playing singles, there's nobody else to bail you out right there. Nine. Catherine Prince are doing a nice job. Side out. The Parento serve did not catch the line. That was a gift right there. Nine. That's not Eight. something that Catherine Printo does often. What a shot! Parento unable to get there. You have done. And now Parento, she was asking for an injury timeout, and uh, she will not get it. She went down and scraped her knee a little bit. Don't see any blood flowing on her knee. Just a, a light eight. scrape. Now we've got game point. Can Jansen close it out? Yes, she can! With a rip on the two-handed backhand, Dave. That was phenomenal finish right there to game four. And we're going to see our first fifth game of today in the women's pro singles gold. Yeah, what a match we've seen. A look at game points. Jansen could not have executed that any better. A slap on the thigh from Catherine Parento. She knows she gave up an opportunity to close it out in four. We're going to see a great game five, I guarantee you, as Jansen looks to carry that momentum into the fifth game. One game to decide gold, and it's coming up after this timeout here on Championship Court. Managing text chains is a hassle. Juggling social media threads is a part-time job. There should be a simpler way to play. At Pickle Play, we do it all. Find an ad course, find and message players, schedule events, create clubs and groups, and so much more. Download the only pickleball companion you need today. Pickle Play, games for you. The pickleball community is growing rapidly and evolving. Duper brings accuracy, transparency, and adaptability to the sport. Fair and competitive play is a better experience for everyone. This is our pickleball community. And now Duper will make every match count.
Catherine Parento getting her knee looked at between these games. You do see a scrape there, and there is a little bit of blood. And that was during the timeout. Now Parento back to live action. She's trying to shake it off. She's got a wrap on her knee as Leia Jansen looking on. And Jansen now with the momentum here as we go into game number five, having staved off elimination and winning game four. Both players getting coaching on the sidelines between this game four and game five. Athena Trulio uh, coaching up Catherine Parento and Tyson McGuffin in the corner of Leia Jansen. Side out. A lot of the singles is a chess match. It's anticipating, trying to guess which direction that player is going to go with the ball. Zero. Right there, Parento doing a good job disguising it. Point. And an early lead here for Parento. She looks over at her coach, little fist pump as she's able to get the first point of this One, game. Zero. Just based on that shot and how she looked at her coach afterwards, I think they're going sideline to sideline. They're going to move her back and forth. Lob there sets up Jansen for the overhead. So where in doubles, she might take that ball and throw it back up for a second lob. In singles, you don't have that extra partner to cover, so she's going to try to rip a passing Zero, shot one. to give her some time there. Point. And that's wide, so first point of this decisive game five for Jansen. <laughs> one, one. It's evident to me that Parento's trying to use the sidelines and move her back and forth. Oh, Parento, I don't know how she caught up to that one, but Jansen had her going one way and hits it the other. Great effort there by Parento to get to that backhand, and she almost got to that ball back on the other side of the court. Two, one. Jansen with the lead now. Trying to battle all the way back from being down two games to one. Point. And now she's got a 3-1 advantage. That was very close. A little bit of a look from Parento as maybe questioning in her mind just Three, a bit, but one. no argument. Cannot clearly overrule that angle. Side out. So we've seen that twice now where the players have appealed one from each actually one, and Matthew three. Cross, our ref, not able to overturn that call. Parento digging for Side that out. one but unable to come up with it. So Dave, both these ladies using those angles to set up their shots. It's extremely hard to do. Three, they make it one. look pretty easy, but what they're doing on the court right now is a display of incredible pro-level pickleball. Side out. Now, the obvious question for you, Scott, no line judges for these championship games? That's a one, great question, three. Dave, and that's been discussed on many hot topics and uh, among the forums in pickleball uh, for a while now. At the PPA, they choose to only have two referees. They do not use line judges because they feel that the pros do a good enough job policing their own calls. Side out. Beautiful execution there by Jansen to get back to serve. Well, we've seen tournaments in the past where it, it, the, the line judges have been overruled by the players and ultimately the referee goes with what the player says anyway. That's correct. And that's why they, they felt that these players are in the zone. They're dialed in and they see the ball really well. And uh, you don't see a lot of arguing back and forth from the players. And we've got a quick timeout as Catherine Printo looks up at her coach. She knew she needed this timeout. So trailing 1-4 is Parento. She'll use the timeout, the hydration break, brought to you by Jigsaw Health. Thank you for calling Jigsaw Health. This is Katie. How may I help you? So good. So good. Sure, I can help you with that. Wait, 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 wait. Less wrist. More shoulder. It's been absolutely amazing having Coach Simone here at Jigsaw Health. She just knows how to get the most out of everyone. Back here in Atlanta, closing in on crowning a gold medal winner in the women's pro singles division, Catherine Parento and Leah Jansen. 
have gone to five games in this best of five format. And Parento had a two games to one advantage. Jansen battled back to win game four, and now Parento trailing 4 1 here in game number five. From what we've seen from both of these pro players, I'm not surprised at all, Dave, that this has gone to five games. As the intensity and the anticipation builds here in the fifth game, we're going to see what happens right here in front of us on championship court. Boys. And a friendly net bounce there for Jansen. One of those I'm sorry, I'm not sorry moments. That always freezes you up just for a moment, and it's hard to recover off of those, especially when it's driven with that kind of pace. Side out. That is wide, so Parento gonna get back to serve, and she needs to make the most of it right now, trailing by four points. She's not going anywhere, Dave. Down four One, to her. Um, she's gonna go point to point. She's not gonna think about that score much. Wow. Side out. So that was two bounces. It looked like she might have gotten it right at first. Leia Jansen said, hey, two bounces, no argument Five, from Parento one. there. Long point going on here. Finally won Side by out. Parento on the forehand winner. So what happened with there is is Parento hit a nice backhand slice this way towards us, and Leia was off balance, one, and so five. Catherine knew she had only one shot basically to that sideline. Yeah, Scott referencing towards us. We are to the right side of the, the right baseline. Point. And a point there by Parento to get it to 5-2, or 2-5, with her controlling the serve. 2-5. Points. Make it 3-5. And Parento again, another look at her coach. They have a game plan, obviously. She's going to try Three, to execute five. that game plan down the stretch here in the fifth game. Side out. Jansen, though, puts that right where Parento can't get it. Parento leaving that one up a little high, and that forehand from Leah Jansen is absolutely magnificent. They're going to switch at six here in the fifth game. They're going to switch side ends out. is what I... Yep, so the side switch comes always in the decisive game of of any any match. Traditionally the third game, but the fifth game Three, here five. today. There's not a lot of wind here today, Dave, but sometimes the sun, the background, all Points. those things can play a factor. So they're going to make it even and switch, like I said, when the first player gets to six. And we are now Four, an hour and 13 minutes into this match. Side out. Side out here. And you wonder if the, the heat and the length of, the, of this match will factor in here. With this being so tightly contested. And Jansen unable to catch up to that one. One trend that I've seen throughout all five games is the serve and the return Four, have been instrumental in winning or losing these points. They're set up by those two shots first. Unforced error there by Parento. So Jansen will get it back with the 5-4 lead. One of the things I love about five, singles, Dave, four. is you can't blame these games on anyone else. It's all on your shoulders. You win and lose. What a great shot there by Jansen. You could hear the exclamation and the celebration. She now with a two-point lead. We will have the side switch. We'll step away for a quick moment and bring you the finale of this women's gold after this timeout on championship court. Lucky socks. Lucky hat. Lucky clock.
Dude, did you really have to bring all that with you? Lucy, pregame rituals are very important. I'm sure you have some too. Well, I have the most important one right here. Yeah, obviously. Ugh, almost forgot. My lucky hairbrush. Old reliable. Back here on Championship Court. Leia Jansen, the 6-4 lead. She controls the serve. But the side switch maybe will quiet her momentum. Catherine Parento certainly hoping so. I'm very impressed with the performance so far from Jansen and Parento as they've been putting on an absolute showcase here of the first matchup side of out. the day. Side out after the side switch. And now Parento with Four, the serve. Six. Look for Parento to get oh, really yes. aggressive. And by that, she absolutely got aggressive yeah, on that too, serve. Too aggressive as she hits it long. Six, four. Jansen gets the net bounce. A little dink game. Hits it out of the air for the point. I think Jansen has come up short in a couple of these gold medal matches. She's been very close numerous times. Seven, you can see four. the focus in her eyes right now as she wants to capture this gold medal match. One silver at the U.S. Open a couple of weeks Side ago eyes. in Naples. And that was against Irina Tereshenko, who is a phenomenal singles player in her own right and will probably be joining us at some point. She joined four, us yesterday. Seven. She was so terrific in the broadcast booth. A rare miss serve. I mean, we just don't see that from Parento very often, but I wonder if playing five games takes a toll on somebody from their energy Seven, level. Four. Some of these unforced errors we're not used to seeing. Side out. And the side out here will get the serve back to Parento. Sometimes one of the best strategies in singles is to actually hit right at the player. If you have someone who moves well sideline to sideline, going seven. at them can sometimes jam them up just like we saw. Great shot there by Jansen. She'll get the serve back. on center court here with this game hanging in the balance and the match hanging in the balance and perfect execution there by Parento. That was all set up again by that deep return. She really got that ball to the baseline. Uh, Jansen jammed up just a little and then Parento recognizing she's back too far, cuts Four, that ball seven. in half. Oh, and Parento trying to feel some momentum now switching to her side. Five, seven. This game's going to come down to the last few points. It's going to be about who finishes. Points. And right now, the momentum has swung back into the favor of Parento as we see a quick timeout from Jansen there. That's the yeah, tightened up. Six, game seven. five now at six, seven. And we'll take a hydration break. Brought to you by Jigsaw Health. And pickleball. The last thing I want to think about when I'm playing is cramping or if you're able to perform 100%. Last US Open, I was playing singles and I was feeling like my right calf was getting like really stiff. And I was just like, okay, how can I help my body to perform better? When I start taking Jigsaw products, I'm gonna have energy, I'm gonna have good endurance, and I don't have to worry about me being tired or I'm gonna cramp, so I can just play 100%. You only have one body, so you need to take care of it. So momentum now back in favor of Leia Jansen. I mean, excuse me, Catherine Parento. Leia Jansen still with the score, but Parento was trailing 4-7. Now it's 6-7. Yes, when Parento got the ball back, she was down three. She's reeled it back within two, and we saw a quick timeout from Jansen as she's trying to stifle that momentum. Sometimes timeouts, Dave, are about getting some water and being out of breath, and sometimes it's about stopping that momentum. Time 
10, 6, 7. Oh, what a great shot there as Jansen set Parento up for that one. And once again, the, the receiver calling that timeout or the person that uses that timeout Seven, comes out six. and wins the next point. Points. Jansen now taking an 8-6 lead. That is a monster forehand by Jansen there. She rips it down the line inside in. 8-6. Blowing opportunity there. That was a tough ball, though, because Parento put a little touch and finesse on that ball, kept it below the net, forcing Six, Jansen eight. to miss that shot. Point. And now Parento gets it back to 7-8. Sometimes you can get ahead of yourself a little bit, Dave. Right there, we saw that from Jansen as she was trying to Seven, get a quick eight. early jump on that non-volley zone. Great job by Jansen to catch up with those last two shots. Last three shots, but Parento put it right where there was nothing Jansen could do. What a hustle play there from Jansen as she got to it. And did you see her at the end right here? She looks over her left shoulder to see what happens. And she recognizes that Parento was just nicely, softly putting that ball down the middle of the court. Eight, eight. So eight, eight. Parento tries to hit the precision backhand and able to, unable to keep it in bounds. She forced a really tough shot from Parento because of that harsh angle she was able to generate there. Receiver calls a timeout. The score is eight, eight. So a timeout being taken by Catherine Parento as Jansen has the serve back three points away from taking gold here in Atlanta. Another hydration break and another shout out to our friends at Jigsaw Health. So, how did you do? Uh, won that one. On to the next. Michelle with Weevil, court three. Ben John, Joey Ferrarius, center court. <sighs> Gotta go. Lucy Kovalovica. Good luck. Irina Sarah, Tara. Irina, court three. Back here in Atlanta. Tied at eight apiece, but Jansen with the serve here. So just about ready to go. Jansen three points away. Side out. And the timeout works again as Parento gets it back. I believe we're about 96.3% there on that. Eight, eight. Points. Oh, that's an untimely misreturn from Jansen. And nine, a quick eight. timeout. We had back-to-back -back timeouts. There are no timeouts remaining. No timeouts remaining. It's the final timeout for either player. So our final hydration break of the match from Jigsaw Health. About a year ago, I traveled to this tournament and the temperatures were over 100 degrees. It just hit the wall. The ref comes over and like, what's going on? I go, I don't know, I, I don't know, feel good. I got escorted over to the ambulance and I got to get hooked up on an IV. It was really scary. I started taking Berrylicious Electrolyte Supreme. It gets me through all day tournaments. And it's really important to keep hydrating because ambulances are no fun. So pay attention to your body and stay hydrated. Catherine Parento, the 9-8 lead. And the way that this one has been going, Scott, you get a feeling that uh, we, we might be looking at extra pickleball to decide gold here. As we both suspected, both ladies battling, not wanting to give up any ground to the other. And uh, I could suspect some extra innings for sure.
Tush shot there. Oh, how about the backhand to get oh, it out of the air? But even better on the return by Parento to set up match point. Yeah, Jansen flipping that ball with her backhand on the fly. And Catherine Parento covering sideline to sideline, ripping it. A two-handed winner on the run. Unbelievable stuff. Championship point. Catherine Parento taking gold here in Atlanta. Dave, I just got chill bumps on that last point. It was all set up by Catherine Parento's big serve, keeping Leia Jansen back. And at the end of the day, she was able to put Jansen away in five. Tip of the cap though to Leia Jansen, who fought admirably in taking the silver. But Catherine Parento is your champion. Came into this tournament fourth in the overall women's singles professional rankings. And no doubt will have a chance to move up after taking the title. And we will hear from Catherine Parento, who is our gold medal winner after this quick timeout. Stay with us here in Championship Court. When I step onto the court, I get a burst of adrenaline. That adrenaline makes me focus, and that focus helps me win. I love looking out and seeing my teammates standing there, supporting me, cheering me on. People always ask me, what do you want out of a pickleball brand? For me, it's simple. Performance products and support. Performance is a head game. The Dink is your new source for all things pickleball. Shop the largest selection of pickleball gear from top brands like Selkirk, Paddletech, Onyx, Vulcan, and more, as well as the new Feel a Pickleball collection of footwear and apparel. You'll also find stories, player profiles, and videos from around the world of pickleball. Visit us at thedinkpickleball.com, the exclusive home of PPA merchandise. Stories, gear, intel, the new player in pickleball. I never thought I would fall in love with a sport again. I want to get better and find others who will help my game grow. I want to compete, but I don't know where I stand. With Duper, I'm getting an accurate rating by entering matches before I ever register for a tournament. I can easily find other players, play fun competitive matches, and instantly know where I stand. I'm on my way to confidently becoming the best I can be. Pickleball has taken me to new heights with recreation, community, and health. I want to make every match count. Uh, what a championship match we saw in the women's gold. And it is Catherine Parento outlasting Leia Jansen. She's standing by right now with Hannah Johns. Thanks, Dave. I'm here with our champion, Catherine Parento. What an incredible back and forth. How do you stay physically and mentally dialed in in this incredible five game match? It was really hard. Um, you know, there was a lot of ups and downs mentally. Uh, physically, I, I felt like I felt pretty good, but it was really mental. It was really a fight the team between Leia and I. Um, and then whoever went for their shot at the end just won, I believe. And how do you feel about the format of five games, best out of five? Did that change the outcome of the match? Yes, because I, I was up 2-1 uh, in games, and it's kind of mentally was like, oh, you know, if we were playing best two out of three, uh, I won. Um, so I had to stay focused and stop thinking about the past and just focus on what I can control. And you're carving quite a legacy for yourself in women's singles. How does it change coming from singles and doubles, and which do you like better? I still prefer doubles. I'm working on my singles game. Uh, singles is a lot more uh, physical. Um, I love doubles. It's quick hands. But I'm starting to like singles more and more. Well, a huge congratulations. We're going to bring Mandy from Acrotech, our presenting sponsor here in Atlanta, on court to present you with your trophy. Mandy. 
Hi, I'm Mandy with Acrotech. Congratulations on your win. Here is your trophy. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you all. We're going to take a quick break, but we are bringing you the men's singles final. Don't go away.